Today we're going to learn how to remove a radiator. First, isolate the radiator by shutting off the valves at either side of the radiator. Cover the floor properly so that no black water goes on the floor and you make a mess of the carpet or the floor covering. And shut off the valve at either side. Make sure that you tighten it right up so that it's off properly and it doesn't pass. Crack the connection to release the pressure. Make sure that both sides are, are isolated before you go any further. Now that you've got it isolated, you can slacken the connections and if you've got green thumbs, stick them on. They are a godsend. I wish I had them when I was an apprentice. I don't think they were designed then. Great little pieces of kit. So you put them on to keep the water in the radiator in the radiator. Make sure you clean off the water. Do the same at the other side. Now that the, the radiator is isolated from the pipework and the system by the valves being off and we've disconnected it and we've got the green thumbs in, the radiator can be lifted off the wall and taken to a drain to be tipped out and dispose of the water inside it, take it back in and turn it round upside down to save any drips going on the floor. Put some caps on the valves that are left there to stop any water coming out. Job's done. Thanks for watching. I'm Scott from SD Plumbing and Heating Solutions. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.